What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing another daily Manchester City transfer update. Before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel. It is free to subscribe. Remember, going to be keeping you guys up to date here on YouTube every single day with all the latest Manchester City transfer news. So if you haven't already, do subscribe. It is free. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget to get your thoughts guys in the comments below and finally do leave a thumbs up as well. 300 likes is the aim. So we're going to crack on with this video. It's been a very interesting last 24 hours. We're going to start off with the outs and we've got the very latest on Sergio Gomez. Now Sports Witness have given some clarity about what Real Sociedad want to do when they want to try and sign Sergio Gomez from Manchester City. So I've been reporting over the last couple of episodes that we've not had solid indication about Real Sociedad and whether they want to make a low move for Sergio Gomez or want to make it a permanent transfer. So sports witnesses are saying that they've flown to England. That happened yesterday. They're sitting down and talking with Manchester City where, uh, about Sergio Gomez. And it is believed that Real Sociedad are pushing for a loan deal with a purchase option, which would be an option to buy with a sell-on fee included. The report does say that Manchester City aren't too happy about this and will need convincing to loan Sergio Gomez out to Real Sociedad. So we will see. City obviously would prefer a permanent transfer rather than a loan transfer. We'll see if Real Sociedad can convince Manchester City to depart with Sergio Gomez on loan. Remember, Gomez is providing competitive competition in our first team squad for our uh, first 11. So Sergio Gomez would be, uh, a, it would be a big miss. Obviously, Man City don't have too much depth in our squad. So losing a squad player would be a big blow. So Man City would need to replace him. We're not going to go out there and loan another player to replace Sergio Gomez. So it'd more than likely be an academy player, but Man City will be prioritising whether they want academy players either to be promoted or loaned out first. We'll see complicated. Anyway, moving on, we've got the very latest on Julian Alvarez and The Athletic have said that Julian Alvarez is open to a move away from Manchester City this summer. He's been open, apparently, uh, for a move away from Manchester City for months, is what's been reported. They say that his destination had hoped to be in Spain with Real Madrid. However, Real Madrid will not be making a move for Julian Alvarez this summer. So is he going to decide to stay? Is he want to go, want to go elsewhere? Is anyone else going to come in with offers? We've already heard Atletico Madrid be interested and said they think he's going to be staying at Manchester City. So again, something for me to keep my eyes and ears open for. It sounds very much like Alvarez is open to a move, but there are teams out there who can afford him, who do want to make a move for him other than Premier League clubs. And I can't imagine, uh, imagine Manchester City being keen on selling to another Premier League club unless there was to offer really crazy money for him because it'd just be a very difficult player to replace. Uh, so... Yeah, it doesn't really make much business sense. Anyway, moving on to the end, we've got the very latest on a new name for this window, but not a new name in the transfer updates is uh, Tio Hernandez. Now, Il uh, Gionnal over in Italy, they have said that both Manchester City and Real Madrid are interested in signing Tio Hernandez from AC Milan this summer. He's got a contract until 2026. He's stalling on signing a new deal with AC Milan, and that has alerted both Manchester City and Real Madrid. I'll be honest, I can't see Man City wanting to make a move, especially with us signing and spending big money on Yoshko Gavardio last summer. This is a transfer I can imagine City being interested in last summer before we signed Gavardio. Now that we've got Yoshko Gavardio, I can't imagine this story being true and Manchester City wanting to make a move, nor can I imagine Real Madrid wanting to do that either, considering uh, their attention seems to be very much elsewhere within their squad. What I do smell here is agents trying to play a trick on AC Milan to force through and break that contract renewal deadlock that Tio Hernandez has got with AC Milan. I could be wrong, but that's where these indications are going towards because it just doesn't make much sense. Anyway, moving on. We've got the very latest on Joshua Kimmich and The Athletic have confirmed that Joshua Kimmich is still an option this summer for Manchester City. 
doesn't sound like Kimmich is a priority to Manchester City as of right now. Uh, as far as I'm aware, with Kimmich, Manchester City are still waiting for him to make a decision as to whether he wants to stay at Bayern Munich and maybe sign a new contract or if he wants to leave them this summer. I imagine if he does communicate to Bayern Munich that he does want to leave, City will be interested in signing him, but we won't be the only club We'll see. Moving on, we've got the latest on Bruno Gimmerreich. And whilst uh, his release clause is active for this month, uh, only £100 million. Uh, pounds, uh, Jordan Cronin at Newcastle World has said that it is unlikely that Manchester City are going to be spending £100 million pounds to sign Bruno Gimmerreich. So that rules out Man City activating that release clause this month. Uh, once we get to July 1st, that release clause is no longer active. So Man City would need to sit down with Newcastle to negotiate a sale. Uh, it would would require here Manchester City uh, to play hardball it'd probably need Bruno Gimaraes to hand in a transfer request I'm not sure he's going to do that if I'm being completely honest and if Man City aren't prepared to spend really big on Bruno G then it's going to be a difficult one to make happen not impossible if Bruno G does communicate to Newcastle that he does want to leave and he says I only want to leave for Manchester City then this transfer becomes very doable at the moment very difficult to do however do remember that Newcastle do not have European football to offer Bruno G next season. Manchester City do. Manchester City have the near guarantee of offering Champions League football season upon season, of course, depending on what happens with the 115 charges. And Manchester City are near enough a guarantee for Bruno G to be lifting trophies on a regular basis as well. So City do have that appeal, along with having Pep Guardiola here as well. So it's a big appeal. It's a big decision for Bruno G to make. It's going to need him to make the decision before we see anything uh, materialising in terms of offers etc etc again I'll keep my eyes and ears open for now moving on we've got another new name for this window but not a new name in terms of our transfers takes us on to Douglas Louise now Real told his hairdo over on Twitter has tweeted out which is now deleted he said read into that what you will that Arsenal have been quoted £50 million to sign Douglas Louise from Aston Villa this summer they like Newcastle struggling with the PSR so they may need to sell and Douglas Louise could help solve them problems for Aston Villa in selling him. It's a sad state of affairs as far as I'm concerned, but uh, this is the situation that we're in with these PSR, so what can we do? Uh, so Manchester City, they have a 20% sell-on fee for any fee above £15 million pounds for Douglas Louise. So Manchester City, uh, if Arsenal are being quoted £50 million, pounds, would be able to pick up Douglas Louise for that 50, uh, that 20% sell-on fee taken off it over £15 million, pounds, takes us to £7 million pounds, and takes us to £43 million pounds, rather than £50 million, pounds, which becomes very affordable and also becomes a really good contingency to Bruno G. He says that Pep Guardiola and Chicky they are seriously thinking about making a move for Douglas Louise. Uh, as I said, Real Tolmy's hairdo has been asked from his source to delete that tweet. So he said, make of that what you will. I've just put interesting dot dot dot. We'll see. Douglas Louise, anybody fancy that? Anyway, moving on to the final transfer. Doesn't involve a player, does involve our manager, Pep Guardiola. Very interesting this. Now, Steve K has given an update on Pep Guardiola, and he said that should Pep Guardiola communicate to Manchester City that he will not be renewing his contract after next summer, Manchester City will be looking for a new manager, and they've identified only one person that they want. Just one, and this is the manager that they want to target, and that is Bayer Leverkusen manager. Jabi Alonso. That's the man that Man City have earmarked as a potential successor to Pep Guardiola. Now, Marcer in Spain have said that Pep Guardiola and Chiqui are travelling to Abu Dhabi this week to go and sit down and talk with Manchester City chairman Khaldun Al Mubarak about plans for the future as Manchester City and Khaldun are seeking clarity about not only the plans for the summer and players they want to make a move with and clarity on the first team squad, but also about new contracts for players at Manchester City and the coaching staff and Pep Guardiola as well. Man City will want a decision very soon from Pep Guardiola. If he is to walk away, they'll want to start getting things in place to make sure that we don't feel too much of an impact because losing Pep Guardiola is a huge blow to Manchester City. So in hiring a new manager, it's going to take a lot of time. The appointment has to be right. And Manchester City are going to need a little transition, a little phase here to go through to uh, move on through the post-Pep era at Manchester City, which is sad to think about, but 
but at some point it is going to happen and if Pep Guardiola doesn't sign that new contract then that's going to be happening in less than 12 months time so time is ticking Caldu wants clarity Pep and Chicky on the way to Abu Dhabi uh, to talk players, to talk transfers, to talk contracts, to talk the future. Any developments from any of these stories, of course, I will keep you guys up to date here every single day with my daily Manchester City transfer news here on YouTube. So if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel. It is free to subscribe. Social media links, they're in the description. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok, email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Do leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. And I'll see you religiously tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer transfer update so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>